Hey everybody, in this video we'll be um, taking a look at the relationship between two variables. So we're going to begin exploring this a little further and we're going to begin by um, looking at length of stay which is a continuous um, ratio level variable <clears throat> and its relationship to uh, whether patients return within 30 days. So again, that is a nominal categorical variable. So we're going to begin this by looking at the relationship between a categorical variable and a continuous variable. Um, and I've already made a note here that we're going to look at the relationship between a categorical variable and a continuous one. And we're going to use the describe by function. We're going to put the continuous variable first. So that would be length of stay. Um, and then we will uh, use, uh, put the, after that, the categorical variable. You need to require the psych package, which you've previously installed. And then we're also going to um, create a grouped box plot. So we've looked at box plots before. Now we're going to look at them together. So um, let's begin that by doing length of stay. Uh, by return 30. That would give us the sense uh, to take a look at average length of stay comparing those who were readmitted within 30 days to those who weren't. So let's start with that. And I wrote describe by. Now notice in the function it's all lowercase but the word by starts with a capital B and there's no space uh, between the end of the word describe and by. And then it's LOS, so your continuous variable, comma, your categorical variable. And we'll hit run. And this is the, the now you're split by groups. Um, so unlike just the describe function where you got something for a single group, now you have two groups. So the no group would be those patients who were not readmitted within 30 days. And this shows in our sample there were 133 patients that did not return within 30 days and if we're uh, only looking at those 133 people their average length of stay is 11.52 days um, with a standard deviation of 9.22 their median length of stay was eight um, with the lowest value being two and the highest value being 55. now for those patients who were readmitted ultimately within 30 days, there were only 28 of them. So a much smaller group of patients. But that first admission, their length of stay was a lot higher. It was 44.61 days, um, so really 33 days more. And there was a lot of variation, 22.38 uh, days. But their median, no matter how you compare it, um, if you're looking at mean to mean, which is the way you could do it, or median to median, those folks who were readmitted within 30 days um, had initial lengths of stay much longer. So you could probably hypothesize that, you know, these people may have been sicker at their initial admission um, than the people who weren't ultimately readmitted. So it may be that that second admission was somehow related to their the reason for their first admission. Okay, so now we're going to do a bo group box plot and we're going to put length of stay, but instead of a comma, we're going to put this tilde between the variables. And you can find that um, in your, on your keyboard to the left of the one and you're going to have to capitalize that. Um, so it's, we're going, so it's the, that's called a tilde. So that squiggly line will do length of stay, tilde, uh, and length of stay. Oops. Oops, I have to get rid of this. And we're going to just go up to here. And oops, I don't know why we've got some issues here. By return 30. And we have to make sure our main uh, label looks good. Length of stay by, we'll say, readmission. And our X label is. Oh, patient was readmitted and our Y label is fine length of stay in days 
Okay, so we're going to hit run. I'm going to move this over so you see something that looks nice to begin with. And we'll hit run. And now you have these side-by-side -side box plots. Um, now, remember, for your homework, you need to put your initials at the top here. So, you know, we see that it, it, some of what we saw um, in the describe by function. Now, remember, the dark line is the median. So this for the no group is an eight. And for the yes group, um, it's at 40. So we see, you know, that jump. Notice that the middle 50 percent of the, the box here for the no group is, is much narrower than for the yes group. So there's less variability overall, um, but we have a bunch of outliers because that interquartile range, that middle 50%, the difference between the 75th percentile and the 25th percentile is pretty low. So you have quite a bit of, quite a few outliers. But notice this box, even the top of this box doesn't even overlap with the bottom of this box. Um, you know, so there's really no overlap in the middle data. Uh, this um, looks like it's a fairly normal distribution, except for this one outlier, in that the box is pretty symmetrical with the line um, coming in the, almost at the middle, a little bit higher, and the whiskers being about the same length. So, um, you know, this data, the data here is probably much more normally dis distributed than um, for the nose, but overall we see um, that the nose have a much shorter length of stay. And even this outlier at around 60, well, 55, that, that would be the top, top one, 55, is, you know, just over the top of the box here. So um, overall, we, it looks like these patients who were not readmitted may qualitatively be somehow different than those that were, that this shows quite a bit of difference between uh, these two groups. Okay, let me give you one more demonstration and um, we'll look at length of stay by gender. Uh, so we'll just change this. And again, we have our continuous variable first and by our categorical variable. And we can just put this here. Um, and we can change this to patient sex. And our X label will be patient sex because the two, notice that your grouping variable is here. Um, so your X label is going to want to describe what you see um, in your categorical variable. And again, this is a nominal level variable because, um, you know, male for, or female, one does not have more sex than the other. Well, maybe they do, but that's a different, that's a sex, sex idea. Sexual practice, not identity. Okay, um, and now we're ready to hit run. Now, if you don't like the way your graph comes out, of course, you can just change it. You can go back and rerun it. And um, whoops, we didn't do. Let's do the let's do the describe by at the same time. Oh, we did. We put it in, but we never ran it. Okay. So here we see females having an average length of stay of 19.16 days and um, with a standard deviation of 18.97, their median is higher than that of the male patients. My, this, by the way, may, not, may be more related to age since um, females tend to be older than males. So we, you could explore that on your own if you'd like, or we could do it in class. Uh, there's 64 women in the sample, 97 men, with an average age of 16.03 for the males and the 16.78. Now, when you look at the group box plots, um, you can see that there's a lot less difference between the males and the females um, in this comparison than to what we saw previously. This, remember, was really a tremendous different. These, these boxes are similar heights. They overlap a little bit. You know, the men start a little lower, end a little lower, but the whiskers are all at the bottom. 
and the top of the whisker for the females is a little bit higher than the males, but there is a lot of overlap between them. So we see much more similarity between the males and the females. So if we had to guess whether there's sort of a statistical relationship, um, you know, we would think it's much stronger um, based on patient readmission than on patient sex. Um, so that's it for uh, this video. Hope you found this helpful and um, let's see what you can do with your homework.